Here's uh, one of the games between Elser and Rain. Rain obviously doing quite well. Elser is still in the uh, bracket next weekend. You're welcome, Sam. So I wanted to see this game just to get an idea of what we might see next weekend. Elser, of course, was the um, number one team for North America. Rain was the number two team for EU. So this is a pretty nice matchup here. Rain Scott of Montana, Vermont, Double Des Moines, Napoli, Gearing, Sherman, Forrest Sherman, Ragnar, Ragnar. Now we saw, I believe, KSC bring a Forrest Sherman on this map against, I think it was Elser in the finals. Elser's got Double Ohio, Double Des Moines, and then, holy hell, Triple Kleber, Marceau, and Ragnar. You can see the Kleber ball is going to A. In the game we cast last weekend, the clay bear ball went to C-Cap. Missions will be sent during the week. Got it. First Hunter, thanks for the follow. Uh, we do have giveaways going, right? CC container code. Good. Exclamation point ticket gets you in, guys. Yeah, I'm on it. Don't worry. Thank you, kitten. So this is Professor Lugar's uh, viewpoint in the Ragnar. Guys, if you got questions, ask away. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to take, uh, go downstairs and take a break and give Stevie some food. He was waiting for food, and he's very happy he had food. He is currently in the litter box. You know what that means. He's drinking water soon, and then he wants Daddy's lap. Litter box. Is he leaving another deposit? I think so. Or is it I hope so? I, it is I hope so. As, as a pet owner, you know what I mean when I say I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. My wife was actually um, judging me a little bit because I was like literally standing there watching him poop. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I need to see him poop. I need to understand that he's pooping okay. You know? He's an old cat. Luger on radar. There's a double Ragnar? Oh, you don't want to see that if you're a single Ragnar with nobody to support you. You're by yourself. Engine boost to the island, sir. Patton says rip already. Rip his hit points. Look at how much damage he's taken already. Uh, DCP now and stop in reverse, dude. No, you're... What are you doing, Luger? No, I would have butted up to the island, personally. I mean, you're probably dead long-term anyways, but still. Why let yourself get killed here by the Sherman? And possibly the Vermont. Vermont hasn't shot you yet. Turning in was a mistake. Yeah... Yeah. Uh, you're not detected, so... Oh, wait, never mind. Radar, because Des Moines is there. This is Islands of Ice. They've redone it. Islands of Ice we haven't seen at all the past, frankly, this weekend. And I think, like, that's that's Raptor on purpose, because you all got to hear Raptor's voice in all of the Shatter uh, intro videos, but you never heard my voice, because I did Islands of Ice, and nobody wants Islands of Ice, Sag. Uh... Because the North has a distinct advantage. In Islands of Ice? Yes. Why? Uh, island placement. I learned that during clan battles. Specifically? Mm-hmm. Where? Which uh, island? What is it, Seaside? Seaside has uh, some sort of distinct advantage. Okay. I'd have to look at the map to remember again, but the North spawn does have a distinct advantage. Echo 5? Really? That island has an advantage over Foxrock 5 Island? Okay. I, I don't know, but I mean, when you're talking cots at this level, they're like the smallest advantage could be the biggest advantage. No, I understand that. I understand that. <laughs> um, what What is interesting to me is uh, there's significantly more cover. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look, guys. Now, on the south side of the island, at Foxtrot 4 and 5, there's that settlement. And that 
is a significant advantage for the north side. I will grant that, absolutely. I've been there before. The other thing, ah, I see it. So the south side here, you've got this flat area. And this flat area forces you to stay too far away from the island. It doesn't offer as much protection as the island on the northern side. You'll see the northern side has a very steep drop off right to the waterline. So this is very good protection for a destroyer or even a cruiser that sits here. Whereas the other side is not. Okay. You're going to say mistakes have been made, Crimson? Fuck on board. Good to see you, dude. Cheers to you, sir. Gangbrang detected there in the Ragnar. Now note the Kleber. The Kleber squadron has divided up. One Kleber stuck on the one line, the other two together. Now, I will say from casting before, I know that one of the three Kleber's has radial location, one of the three Kleber's has unique upgrade, and one of the three Kleber's is all guns. So seeing the three divided up here feels bad because, well, you're taking something away when you divide those three up. You need those three together in order to make this work. So to me, this feels bad. You haven't seen a Sherman yet, Chocolate? You haven't seen much Shermans in COTS because the Sherman, frankly, it's relatively large. It takes a, a good amount of hits. Um, it's relatively sluggish as well. And it only has three turrets. Now, the turrets themselves, it's pretty good reload on uh, the three turrets, but they are three single fire turrets. So, crap. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Where's my mouse cursor? There it is. I apologize, guys. I was getting my uh, replay render ready for you guys, and I forgot that it was visible. I have to disagree with you, Crimson. You're bringing ships for a certain reason, so some ships need to be built a certain way. But Crimson is right in that if they are breaking up, that could become a problem, depending on which Kleber broke away. If it's the only Kleber of the three, for example, that has radial location, that becomes a problem. Ragnar spotted. Shots out by Luger. So, uh, so Rin. Rin's Kleber is very low. You can see Rin now south of the big island there. Rin, by the way, is the caller for Elser. Right, Crimson. That's I, I I get that what you're that's what you're trying to say. Now, can Hexogen go down? Hexogen needs to go down here, in my opinion. They have a shot. Quincy takes a big hit. Um, that's typical for Quincy. He takes hits. All right, guys. Stevie has pooped. He has drank water. Let's find out if he wants on my lap or if he just wants to go to his bed. And it looks to me like he just wants to go to his bed, which is fine. Oh, God, big hit from the Montana. No more heals for Luger. No more heals. And Rin is also... Rin's got no heals in the Cliver anyway. Rin is at 11 hit points. That's ouch. Guys, this is the number one North American team. The only North American team to continue into... King of the Sea finals next weekend on the bracket. You felt this need to go to bed? I need to go to bed too. 
But I'm here for you guys, because you don't want to see uh, me sleeping. That's a different Twitch streamer, altogether. Yeah, Zath is probably subduer. No, I'm not. I met her in TwitchCon, and it was great that I did, but no, me I'm too, not. Me too. And we didn't even have to wait in line. I got lucky. She was coming down the stairs, and I just intercepted her because I saw her right there. I met her at one of the booths um, in did? the artist yep. area. Yeah. You know what? I don't, I don't care what you might think about this person, but she was nice enough to say sure when I asked for a selfie with her. Ooh, Hutago goes down the Marceau. The hard part about doing a destroyer rush like what you guys are doing in Elser is once your destroyers get low health, you really can't make anything work. And we're seeing that right now here. Rin is low health. That means there's only one claymore available. The Ragnar here, this Luger, very low on health as well. Ohio, 89.52, quite low as well. And that's game. 8952 dies, and that's game. Here's your replay render. Again, I apologize for that showing up on stream. I did not mean for that to happen. <sighs> this was a close game. I was watching, and the reason I picked this is because I was watching, and um, honestly, there was concern, there was thought this Elser would win. If Elser won, if Elser won, this would go to another tiebreaker game. So there was a lot of chatter about this, and they were watching closely, and it went from, oh, they're close, to, nope. Luger going too far up to that island, I really wish he would have just dove the island. I think he would have come away with more hit points as a result. Look at the wolfpack destroys an A, yeah. That's that's the clever wolfpack. You put three together. And three is kind of like your uh, critical mass. Anything under three, you just can't make it work. Comprehend my observation skills. I'm glad you're a cat person, Imperius. So we're watching this render. Elzer versus... What is it? Rain? I think it's Rain. Crimson does not like positioning, folks. Crimson will... Uh, take over and win it for North America. Go ahead, Crimson. Oh, Stream Raiders is ready. Let's go. Chris is just laughing. I, I agree. Uh, Cookie, Haragumo Wolfpack. You know, I you say that maybe as a joke, but it could happen. If it does happen, it could be terrifying. I really think a Ragnar Wolfpack could also be even more so, even more so terrifying. So, the C-Cap positioning was wrong. Let's take a look at what happens at C-Cap. So, Marceau boosts to C-Cap. Grabs it while the Des Moines and Ohio get there. Easy cap for uh, Marceau. Look at the Kleb Air Ball, the triple Kleb Air Ball up there. Now, there's a smoke, and I think that was decisive for Rain. There was a smoke on that radar cruiser. I missed the radar cruiser it was. But it doesn't matter. What matters is 
uh, that cruiser is now dark because smoke is a thing. So with that smoke on that radar cruiser, it's very difficult for the three clay bears uh, to make something happen. Let's continue. Pause it here. AC in charge of Elser. Um, talk about Des Moines positioning or, or Charlie positioning. Okay. I think the Des Moines position's fine right now. Napoli detected turning away. It's the destroyer in the battleship. Here's the problem with Elser's setup, Crimson, is that no one destroyer matters in this comp. It's really about all the destroyers together. And Yeah, that Ragnar survives, that's huge. Marceau charged in too early. That's the caller, maybe, I don't remember, is that red? Um, hmm. I mean, they're gonna flip it a couple of times. They, they flipped it again. That's Hutao, Marceau. Hmm. Um. I think the bigger issue in this game is that when you are running a triple clip bear squadron, that squadron is dependent on getting a kill early. If they don't, if they don't get that kill early, they're in trouble. And I think that's what happened here. They had that early spots on whatever cruiser north of A. Let's take a look. That is a Des Moines. But the Des Moines was smoked. Rain knew what they might run into here. And they smoked their Des Moines. So the Colbert's moved off. Now, I would have liked to have seen the three Colbert's together. For whatever reason, Elser's third clip bear stays back behind at Alpha. I think this game would have been different if the three clip bears were together. That lone clip bear at A probably had unique upgrade. Probably. At the expense of reload and torpedoes. So, ouch. Oh, this hat. You think you saw that? Keep them together? Yeah, Crimson. I mean, when that... When the Kleber ball broke apart, that's really when Elsa ran into problems, right? Three hard grumos would give you a heart attack. I mean, I can totally see why. 